finally at the ocean, somewhere I've always felt like I belonged, somewhere I wasn't always sure I belonged. Um, it took me, well, only technically 15 minutes to get here, but at the same time, probably 30 years. <laughs> it's one of my favorite places to be, but it took me going really deep to actually get there, to actually enjoy it, to actually face my fears. That's not easy. It's not easy to ask why. Why am I scared? Why am I afraid of what people think? What's the worst that could happen? It's easier to just kind of sit on the shore and watch and cheer people on. I think cheering people on is great, but if you don't like yourself in the process because you know you're not getting out there yourself, then it might not be the best place for you to be. So I say start at the surface, take a look at who you are, what you're already presenting, what you want to present, and then dig deeper. What else is there? What are you not doing, seeing, showing? What steps do you need to take to get a little further out, to get a little closer to where you want to be or who you want to be? So like, let's say you're the kind of kid who just is super curious and you want to know what's going on in class. Let, let's say the teacher says something and you don't quite understand it, but you want to, but nobody else is really saying anything. Nobody else has any questions. Either they seem to already know. You in that moment, not raising your hand to ask the question is suppressing who you are. That's you not letting yourself be you in that moment. If you're curious in that moment, if you're like, hey, I didn't understand that, or hey, I actually wanna know more about that, that's awesome. Even if the other kids think it's annoying or boring or whatever it is, that's okay. I recognize it doesn't feel okay in the moment, but in the long run, you become the type of person that keeps showing up as you. That's gonna inspire more kids to show up as them, to also maybe want to ask a question, because you never know. You might not be the only one in the class that has the question. Other kids are just as afraid. It just takes that one kid to be the one to speak up for other kids, to be like, actually, yeah, I'm curious too. And before you know it, you realize you're not alone. You're not the only one that thinks that way or feels that way. It just takes being brave in that moment. Acknowledging it might be a little scary, but doing it anyway, just raising that hand. So like for me, surfing, learning to surf was super scary. It was a scary process, but it was worth it. It's worth it because that's where I feel most alive. It's where I feel like myself. It's how I have fun in life. It's just one of the ways, but it was important. It was scary, but I think that's why it was important. And the same is true with living authentically. It's it's gonna be scary. If it feels scary, then that's good. You're, you're on the right track. I think that's okay. Sometimes if it feels scary, we think, oh, this must not be right, but it's tough. Asking yourself these tough questions about who you are and what you think and what you like, and even voicing that sometimes, that can be super scary. Like, I acknowledge that, but it's worth it. I promise you it's, it's worth it. It's way more fun than it is scary, but you won't find out until you get out there and try.